Dear students, now we will look at a software that can be used to perform fold recognition or threading. So the threading process involves passing the sequence, the primary sequence of a protein, through the various folds that you have from the fold databases, thereby arriving at the best collection of folds and bringing those folds into a single structure to create a tertiary structure for the protein. Now, the best match was scored using z-scores and you finalized your prediction. ITESSER is a tool that can be used to perform all of this work for you in a very easy and seamless manner. So let's start looking at what were the inputs yet again. So the inputs were the folds from libraries, the amino acid sequences and the scoring function. This was input to a software which output the predicted structure. So now we are going to use ITESSER. So this software is going to be ITESSER. The scoring function will be the one that is developed by the ITESSER team at the Young Lab. And you will just have to input the amino acid sequence. The four libraries are of course public and are available. Okay. ITESSER will output the predicted structure, the tertiary structure for the sequence that you have here. So let's take a look at a step-by-step -step for what ITESSER stands for and what it does. So ITESSER is simply Iterative Threading Assembly Refinement Server. So as is obvious from its name, ITESSER iteratively assembles various folds by threading sequences against those folds and builds a tertiary structure. So it's a software which does this for you in an automated way and predicts the structure and function as well. So it starts by the input of an amino acid sequence. So sequence will be input by U. So this will be the sequence for which you want to predict the structure. So ITESSER will go and generate all 3D atomic models for multiple threading alignments. So this it will do automatically at the server end and create iterative structural assemblies. So these iteratively constructed assemblies will be simulated and evaluated. So then the function will be inferred by structurally matching the 3D model that has been created by ITESSER with other known proteins whose function is known. So the function of these proteins is known and the function of this protein will be predicted by looking at these proteins. So ITESSER outputs full length secondary and tertiary structures. So secondary structures involve the alpha helices and beta sheets etc. and the tertiary structure it involves the combination of all of these secondary structures. Next, the estimate of accuracy is also output and this is represented by the confidence score of the modeling. So let's take a look at the software itself. Here I have provided the link for this software on the top. You can simply click on this link or copy paste this or just type it in and you will be taken to the Young Lab server which runs the ITESSER software. So this is being developed at University of Michigan and it is a fantastic tool to predict the protein structures. Okay, so let's take a look at what it says. So ITESSER is the protein structure and function predictor tool. The server completed predictions for 275,000, over 275,000 proteins submitted by over 68,000 users. So this is a lot of people using this software and you can use it as well. So let me take you to the portion where you need to. Yeah. So here you can simply click on the sequence if you scroll down. So you can copy paste your sequence here. So you can simply paste your sequence here in this text box and this sequence has to be in the FASTA format that is 
so that it can understand your sequence. Next, if you don't have that and if you have a FASTA file, then you can also upload it by using the choose file button. And importantly, afterwards you have to input your email address and password alongside because the ITESER server is being used by many people and the structure prediction takes a lot of time. So they will simply take your sequence, your username, that is the email and password and get back to you once the server is finished computing your structure. So it will not give you your structure immediately. Please remember that it will send you an email and you can open the link in the email to find your structure. So to run the software, you simply click on the run ITESER button and you can start predicting your structure using ITESER. So it is a very simple tool. Of course, if you're an advanced user, then you can assign additional restraints and templates to help ITESER modify the modeling process. Okay, so ITESER is this simple to use and all you have to do is input your amino acid sequence to ITESER, provide your email address and a password and you will get an email from ITESER maybe after one day with the predicted structure. So besides the structure, ITESER will also give you the function uh, or the probable function of the protein that you have the structure for.